Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justrician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And in this video, we're going to take a look at this free set of Cascade VFX that uh, we can use in our animation sequences in Unreal Engine and uh, show how to use them. So uh, you can get this pack completely for free off the marketplace. It's called Realistic Starter VFX Pack Volume 2. And if you just search the marketplace for the word realistic and filter on max price free, you should find this uh, pack pretty easily. Once you've acquired it, you can add it to project and it supports all the way up to version 5.3, which is the current version as of this recording. Now, these are cascade effects. This is the older system for handling VFX in Unreal, but it still works perfectly fine, and the uh, sequencer is able to control them. When One thing you'll see is that there's two different kinds of effects here. Um, there's effects that just run all the time. So if I click on here and, and tap F to frame that up, here's smoke, for example, and it's just kind of constantly billowing out of this uh, emitter. And uh, other effects are designed to uh, fire intermittently. So there's a hit, for example, here. It doesn't look like anything's happening. But if I go over to the details and go to this is loop, I can uncheck it and check it and so we can see that. Uh, there's another kind of hit, like if I go over to the sparks here. Let's just uh, click on the icon for sparks and tap F to frame and fit. This is uh, firing off over and over again. And the main thing to uh, look for in each of these is what component in these effects is the particle system component? So with the sparks, it's this particle system component. Uh, with the hit, for example, uh, it's something different. It's uh, VFX. If I hover over it, we can see it's a cascade particle system. So it's that cascade particle system that we want to operate with the sequencer. So let's take a look at that with a few different effects. Um, for the hit, we just want to trigger that to fire. I'm just going to uh, alt click and drag on this actor so I have a separate copy. Each time it spawns, it's, it's firing off. Um, let's create a quick sequencer. So I'll just right click, cinematics, level sequence, and call this demo sequence. And save that, double click to open it up, and make sure this is selected, add a track, actor to sequencer, and this is an asphalt hit. Okay, so uh, I've got the actor on here, but there, there's no tracks underneath. So next, what I want to do is add a track for the VFX, right? So this one, this actor has VFX as the cascade system, so I'm going to add that as a track. And then next, I want to add a VFX or FX system toggle track. And this ultimately is going to be the track that controls this. So what I can do with this track, in this case, it's just we want to trigger the particle effect to fire. So I'll switch this to trigger and set a key. And boom, that'll trigger. And I can set another key. And so then each one of these triggers will result in this hit firing. So I should be able to rewind at the beginning of my sequence. Whoops, I accidentally set the beginning zero and begin and play. So boom, boom, boom. So we have full control over when that fires off. So that's great. So that takes care of those hits. Let's take a look at sparks, for example. So I'll uh, click on this uh, sparks effect, tap F there to frame that up. Again, I will alt and click drag to make a new copy. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this asphalt track. Uh, with this set of sparks here, uh, we've got a particle system component. And now these sparks are like firing in, uh, continuously, really. Uh, they're, they're not firing in a stream like this, but they're intended to be firing relatively continuously. So uh, what we'll do, again, with this actor selected, we'll add it to the sequencer. And then we'll add our particle system component, which is their particle system. And finally, we'll again add the FX system toggle track. And I'm going to start this sequence with this uh, particle effect switched off. So I'm going to deactivate it and set a key. And now this will not be firing, right? If I hit play now, the, that second effect is not firing at all. Let's go back to the beginning. And I'll go to about here, switch my mode to activate. And now I've got a keyframe because I was auto keying to activate this. And you can see this is like firing off. So if I go back to the beginning and hit play, Nothing's happening, and now boom. So now this will start incrementally uh, firing off. Okay, uh, finally, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's take a look at the smoke. You know, this there's fire in the background. That would work the same way as smoke. Uh, let's select the smoke, alt, click, drag, 
got the actor duplicated, actor to sequencer, here's our smoke. Again, we'll add our particle system component and we'll add our FX toggle track. We'll start this out deactivated, first frame, play for a little while, we'll let that smoke dissipate and then we'll add an activate frame and let that smolder for a little while and then we'll deactivate it again. So this allows us to activate and deactivate and we can go back to the beginning and push play, no smoke. And now the smoke comes in and then it deactivates. And that's it. That's how you can control these cascade effects using your animation sequencer in Unreal Engine 5. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.